Hello everyone, Cesar here with Final Fantasy XII. Uh, as you know, I beat Final Fantasy X-2 on Friday last week, and now we're starting 12 here. I guess I could put Control Evolution on, I don't know what Screen Shake is. On, I guess? Widescreen. That, I guess, I don't know. Alright, so we're going to start here and uh, start the beginning of this game. In the name of the Father, and in the presence of these holy relics, I hereby pronounce you man and wife from this time forth. May the blessings of the gods light your path for all eternity. Follow on. If, following this, Arcadia should launch an attack by both land and air, our kingdom will stand little... Nabodis has fallen. Impossible! My father? I know not. I am sorry. If Nabodis has indeed fallen, it is only a matter of time before they reach the borders of Dalmasca. There is nothing to halt their advance. Secure Nalvino with all haste. I will go. And I will go at his side. Galtea, stand watch over your life. That I be considered worthy.
Atlas is lost. We must withdraw. No, the paling still stands. Blessings of the Great Father descend, and guide your bodies return to the Earth. Great Father, guide your spirits return to the Mother of All. There you shall find peace. Farah. The death of Lord Rasla Heos Nabradia was but one of many tragedies to befall the Kingdom of Dalmaska. The air of hope that had surrounded Her Royal Highness Princess Asha's wedding was now quite lost. Dalmaska had been set adrift at the mercy of history's restless tides. At this time, two great empires struggled for dominion over Ivalice, Arcadia in the east, Rosaria, the West. The invasion of the Kingdom of Nabradia was Arcadia's first step in its westward march. With Lord Rasla's beloved homeland consumed by the hellfires of war, it seemed clear that Arcadia would soon mete out a like fate to Dalmasca. The fall of the fortress at Nalbana told the destruction of the greater part of Dalmasca's forces. A counterattack was mounted by the order of the Knights of Dalmasca, ever brave and faithful. But against the martial might of the Arcadian armies, they stood little chance of victory. Indeed, their defeat was to be absolute. Soon thereafter, Arcadia came forward, offering terms of peace, or, as one might rather put it, terms of Dalmasca surrender. Lord Ramanas, King of Dalmasca, and my dear friend, had no choice but to accept these terms. It was, thus, only with reluctance that he set out for Nalbana Fortress, now under Arcadian occupation, to affix his seal to the Emperor's Treaty of Peace. The King had scarce departed his royal city of Rabanasta when the remnants of the Order made their return, and not a moment too soon for a terrible revelation awaited them. The treaty would be signed with steel and writ in royal blood. Okay. So I am all of a sudden losing frames. That's kind of weird. 
You there. Can you hear me? <laughs> it's as I feared. They're slowing us down. Do not say that. Not all of us are here for love of battle. He <laughs> fights to defend his homeland. <laughs> Your name? Rex, sir. My name's Rex. Good. Rex. You bore a few cuts. But you are still whole. Well, can you stand? <clears throat> Think you can fight? I'm fine, sir. How old are you, Rex? Seventeen, sir. Young. Family? My brother is all I have left, sir. He's two years younger than I, living in Rabanaster. So young. You're barely old enough to be a man. You shouldn't be forced to wield a sword. No, sir. I want to fight. For my homeland. And for my parents. It's time, Bosch. Save the discussion for later. We must reach the king before they act, or all our efforts will be in vain. I'm aware of the situation. We found them! Over there! Bossler, go ahead. I will handle this rabble. Godspeed. Steady, Rex. Keep your wits about you and you'll make it. We move! You must always be mindful of your surroundings. Use the right analog stick to look around. It's a useful way to spot Imperials. Go on, give it a try. Use the left analog stick to move, Rex. Tilt it slightly to walk, further to run. You can walk, yes. Come stand before me. Alright, so... The joyous thing here is... I played this game when it first came out. Do you see the marker above my head? That's a talk icon. You can talk to any character showing one of these. To talk to someone, approach them and press circle. Try talking to your friend by the gate. I played the, uh original game when it first came out. I got the collector's edition and everything. Um, but I never really bothered to play the International Zodiac Edition, so that's I asked my friends what they wanted to see, and this is the one they chose. Uh, so please avoid any spoilers, because uh, Sidley and Wintrig, at least I know, haven't seen this game, and I barely remember it. <laughs> life is what you... Uh, life is worth too much to throw away, Rex. Do what you can, but don't try to be a hero. Save the hero stories for your brother once we're back in Robin Astra. Just listen to the captain, and we'll get through this. We'll enter the fortress through this gate. We must go. Alright. We'll enter the fortress through the gate, blah, 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 okay. See the marker above your head? That's called an action icon. One of these will appear when you approach a door, a switch, an item, or the like. To learn more about what you found, walk closer to the icon. will change. Press circle. Now, try opening the gate. It is time. We will drive back any Imperial standing between us and the King. Damascus' future hangs in the balance. Stay focused on the foes before you, Rex. I will watch real word. That's too bad. FF12 had... Well, FF12 is a lovely game. It's just very different. You can open the party menu by pressing triangle. On the party member, you can examine your equipment and inventory. And you're about to see why it is different from other Final Fantasies. That red line is the target line. Take heed, you're being targeted. When a foe targets you, the line is red. When you target a foe, the line is blue. If you see a red line, look for the foes at once. If they are not readily apparent, use the right analog stick to look around. When you've found them, press circle to open the battle menu. Once you've selected attack and targeted a foe, close the distance using the left analog stick. You'll automatically attack until your foe is defeated. 
You can change targets or attack actions at any time. If your HP falls, press circle to select items from the battle menu, then use a potion. After using an item, you will automatically resume your previous action. There is no need to input your commands again. You can do it, Rex! Show me! And dead. Alright. So this game, if I'm if I'm correct, I don't I don't know too well. Um. Captain, Air Cutter Remora. Oh, and I also know a spell. I know Kier, and I know Thunder. Yay, Thunder. Alright. He's using Remora Strike, so I'll run away. It still hit me. Normally, it doesn't hit me when I run away, so that's weird. He's being an ass this time. Alright, I see how it is. Well, whatever. Those keep healing me anyway. So, as far as I know, this game is set into the same universe as Final Fantasy Tactics. That is why the summons are not the same as what you know in Final Fantasy. The other Final Fantasy games is they use the ones from Tactics instead. Um, and they use a bunch of bosses from previous Final Fantasy games, which is cool. So, only po spoiler I'm posting, don't listen if you don't want to hear, is one of the summons is Chaos from Final Fantasy 1. There is no simple way through the fortress. The mini-map at the top right of your screen may not be enough to gain your bearing. Should you lose your way, consult your location uh, map by pressing select. This will bring up the map of the fortress we gave you before we set out. Alright. Where are you? What if Captain Azalus has fallen? Don't talk such nonsense. Vosla's laughed in the face of death far too many times for him to stop now. Men like him don't die in places like this. We must make haste to reach the king. We will take him to safety. Is his majesty unharmed? He'll agree to an unconditional surrender. They wouldn't dare touch him until the wax on his seal is dry. But if we arrive after he signed the treaty... Wait. Quickly, Rex. <laughs> All right. No, it's not tactics advance. It's uh, tactics war of the lions. Ahead, we face many imperials, but we need not fight them all. Oft times, retreat is wise. The wiser course. Should the need arise, press and hold R2 to run from your foes. There's no shame in fleeing from a battle that serves no purpose. But they all serve purpose. They give me EXP and LP. I like EXP and LP. Not that I need it here, but whatever. Stops this asshole from casting fire on me at the very least.
Man, it's like a giant brawl in the castle. Something up over here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, a potion. Excellent. That's right. Up the stairs we go. I'm getting used to the camera, so it's going to spin weirdly at times because I can't inverse it the way I like it. So I got to get used to the way this one runs. This is a save crystal, Rex. You can save your progress by approaching a save crystal and pressing circle. Touching one of these crystals will also fully restore your HP and MP. Though you will gradually recover MP as you move about, it can take time. Do not miss this opportunity to refresh yourself and your allies. There is more I would tell you, but we have no time. Heed the lessons of the battlefield and you will do well. Come, we must meet his majesty before it's too late. Alright, so we are going to save here. There we go. Intruders! Don't let them escape! Sir, we have little time. You must go to the king. I'll handle these. Fight well. Somehow three grown men have issues taking on Rex. He's just a sword prodigy. That's right, victory for me. What's down there? Nothing? Alright. Let's go this way. This is these doors. Don't see anything I can pick up. Your Majesty. <laughs> Captain, why? Our King, what have you done? The King intended all along to sell Damascus to the Empire. His Majesty was a traitor. Captain, I... <laughs> well, so much for peaceful Peace negotiations. negotiations. We'll never surrender to you. We are not cattle to be sold by a traitor king. But the war is over, my dear captain. You have lost. Dalmasca is the property of the Empire now. And to think, we intended to let you keep some of your sovereignty. Out of respect. But now you've gone and ruined that. Haven't you, Captain? We will never bow to you. 
and the people of Dalmaska will hate you for it. Take the captain away. Pretenses of peace left by the wayside. The Arcadian forces resumed their advance toward Rabanasta. Dalmaska's doom had been decided. To make resistance would serve no end. With this foremost in my thoughts, I to the people of Dalmaska. Sons and daughters of Dalmaska, I bid you lay down your arms. Raise songs of prayer in their stead. Prayer for His Majesty, King Raminos, ever merciful, a man devoted wholly to peace. Prayer, too, for the noble Princess Ash, who, wrought with grief at her kingdom's defeat, has taken her own life. Know also that Captain Bosch von Ronsenberg for incitement of sedition and the assassination of His Royal Majesty King Ramanos has been found guilty of high treason and put to his death. They who at this late hour choose still the sword are cut of the same cloth as the captain. Traitors who would lead Dalmasca to her ruin. Dalmasca surrender without terms was soon to follow. They'll find us. I know, I know. Just a little more. You keep an eye out for me up there, kites. One, two, three more. All right. Time to clean house. All right. This is Vaughn, the, I suppose, main character. So, I will show you in just a moment what I don't like about this game. Fuck you, dire rat. One, there's dire rats. Nobody likes dire rats. Wow, Vaughn. You got them all yourself? Guess I know who to call when something big comes along. Hey, it's good practice for the desert. I'm ready for anything now. That's enough for today. You should get back to Miguel's place, Kites. Aren't you running errands for him? Oops, <laughs> totally forgot. You should come, Vaughn. He's busy today. Might have some work for you to do, too. I've got other, um, work to do. Hey, lock this place up for me, will you? If Miguel finds out we've been down here, he'll tan our hides. <laughs> Lovely. That's not true, I like rats. I used to have a pet rat. His name is Gara. What'd you say? 
Yes, uh, sir, you haven't paid, and I... What? Haven't paid? Oh, uh, 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 second thought. Please, sir, take it. It's a gift. Leave the poor sod, B. We don't want trouble today. Your luck, peddler. Oops, sorry. What way you're going, Churl? Oh, my patch! It's gone! The boy! Get out of the way! So what do I like about this game? What? The way they designed Vaughn's torso. Hey, that's mine. What do you mean yours? You've been stealing again. What happens if they catch you? We need you to be there for us, Vaughn. You're no good to anyone if you're locked away in a dungeon. Oh, what? Am I the leader now? We're orphans. The first thing you learn is you gotta watch out for yourself. Come on, Pinello. You know it as well as I do. Hey, you give that back. What do you think you're doing? I thought that this money was the people of Dalmasca's property. The Imperials stole it from us, so it's only fair that we take it back. It's our duty as Dalmascans. Well, wasn't that what you said? Yeah, but I never said anything about taking it back from me. This is for that bread you took the other day. Just because I help Miguelo out every now and then, it doesn't mean that you get to eat for free too, you know. I know that. You think I like living like this? One of these days, I'll fly an airship of my own. I'll be a sky pirate, free to go where I will. Hmm. Well, be careful. You'll never fly anything if you're rotting in a dungeon. Hmm. Oh, Miguelo had some errands that need doing. He wanted you to drop by his place. It might be a good idea to lend a hand. Fuck you, Pinello. Don't tell me what to do. Alright, so... Your location map often bears a mark showing you your destination. Consult the map when you are unsure of where to go to next. The whole map is added to the party member. Where am I? I'm right there. Okay, so, I can't pick any job yet, okay, so when I do pick a job, there's six characters in this game that you can actually get, give jobs to, and there's 12 jobs, so one of them is going to be White Mage, and I'm going to pick it at the start, I'm just not going to tell you who it is, and I'm going to do it via dice roll. You getting into trouble with the Imperials again, man? Well, I'll try to be careful, if not for your own sake, then for Miguel and Pinello, okay? There sure are a lot of Imperials out today. They think they're so great, but I hate them. That's great. I'm glad that your hatred for them is relevant. Hey, mister, you want to hear about the history of Robin Ostra? It won't cost you too much. What? I gotta eat, too, you know. Let's see. One gill ought to do it. No, fuck you. I'll give you a gill. <laughs> you know, fun. You can cut the tension with a knife out here on the streets today. Guards at every corner. I can hardly stand it. If anyone asks, I said nothing. Nothing. Understood? Well, that's all right. I was just down at Miguel's sundries. That Miguel is coming and going, so I'm half afraid he's gonna wear the door off its hinges. We probably will. The Miguel has made quite a name for himself. What's with that sundry shop and all? His and all. There's one banga a fellow that could take after. Step back now. I haven't finished interrogating these two yet. Alright. 
It's sweltering, even here in the shade. Maybe I'll head up to Rob the Sansi and get something to drink. They've closed all the stairs down to Lowtown. Can you believe that? I don't care how important today is. That's, this, this is absurd. We've only been only two years since Princess Ash took her life, but it seems like Robin Ashtra has been in, in the Empire forever. Uh, not that I'm complaining. Miguel, fighting the new console. Miguel, this Miguel, that. That's all I ever hear these days. Well then, stop talking to people. Problem solved. There's a nervous energy running through the whole city today. With the new console coming, I suppose it's to be expected. Everyone sure seems busy today. You, Kites, Pinello, me? Don't worry, I've got my own work to keep me busy. I'm gonna be so rich that I know I'll buy be rich enough to buy an airship. You can ride any time you want, Vaughn. That's that's good. I guess. Ah, Vaughn, I was waiting. Pinello said you needed something. Um, had me some packages supposed to be arriving by courier. In the morning, uh, perhaps he ran into some trouble on the desert. Now I've no foodstuffs to prepare for the banquet tonight. So you want me to find this courier? Hey, no problem. No problem? The desert teams with trouble. I'd be sending you to early grave, my boy. No, I've arranged for some replacement goods from Tomage over at the Sand Sea. So you want me to go to the tavern to pick him up? Actually, I asked Kites to do that. Wouldn't you know he's gone missing on me, too? Ah. I can't leave my shop at night. Pinello on another chore at the moment, you see. What I want you to do is run over to the Sand Sea and fetch Kites back. What do you say? Ugh, sounds wild. It's easy work, and you'll thank me for it someday. Alright, I'm gonna reset my uh, recording, and I'm gonna reset my stream this time actually, because I seem to be dropping some frames.